Welcome back to the next tutorial installment for speedrunning Soldier of Fortune. Last time we were in the armory, we took no weapons, we clicked yes, we went straight into Kosovo. So Kosovo 1, or also known as Cause 1. There's always a cutscene at the start, just skip it. Now there's gonna be two guys that are gonna be coming around the corner. You're gonna attack the left guy, so as soon as you start, already keep swinging the knife. So you can get it up to speed because it takes a while for it to start. Just go for the guy. Aim above his head so you're gonna slice him up faster. And you're gonna pick up his shotgun. And then we're gonna proceed. So, knife. And just chop up this guy. Get his shotgun. Now, these guys, you can pretty much ignore them. You can pretty much just go over here. We're going down here into this cave thing, sewer. Kill this guy for extra bullets. Now, this is a, a pretty difficult beginner strat we're gonna be jumping off a guy's head up on that platform pretty much skips half of the level but it's pretty tricky so follow along I'm gonna be coming around this corner here and I'm gonna wait a second there's gonna be a guy jumping down there from that ladder and the trick is we have to jump on his head before he starts crouching because he's always in the crouching state which ruins everything, it ruins the level pretty much, and uh, it's a run killer, so this is gonna be very hard for you if you're a beginner. Pretty much when he jumps down, you're gonna have to wait a second, just so he uh, he's on the ground and his collision is stabilized. Then we're gonna strafe jump onto his head, strafe jump off his head, and we're gonna turn left so we go like very... Uh, we're gonna go very 90 degrees to this upper shelf like platform we'll just follow along and uh, maybe slow it down if you want it's pretty tricky but you'll get it eventually so jump down guy jump on his head jump off him turn to the left a bit so we go straight on there all right there we go see I jumped like from there onto his head and then I turn, instead of jumping like this way, which is way harder because it's further and may not work most of the time, you jump like straight up here. You just turn your mouse and you fly up here by this guy. We're gonna proceed down these stairs to the second hardest jump in this game. I'd advise killing these guys. Now there's gonna be this guy jumping down. He's kind of a backup, you can jump onto his head and onto that platform. But uh, the easiest way is just to uh, jump off this platform so when you're really fast you come down here you kill this guy that guy's gonna start jumping off and pretty much when you jump you hit him and he bounces you off the ledge and it's annoying it's kind of a nice run killer we're just gonna come around this corner and remember last video I talked about the mouse swing for the jump you're really gonna have to uh, do a hard swing so it's gonna propel you over it's a very long jump so come around this corner also don't be afraid of the ledge you can jump very late otherwise you're not gonna make it but there's also a backup you can jump off his head you can use a c4 to jump on there whatever you want but uh, this requires no explosives which is what I like see how I did it I did a nice little swing but not too much too much makes you rotate and it kind of ruins your momentum so just a little bit from the side straight there just watch, I'll be aiming there, and then swinging to there. See how it propelled me over? These guys from nades. Let me just proceed. Ignore those guys, you can pick up the armor if you want, but we're gonna get it later. Kill this guy. Now this barricade has a really weird collision. And this guy blocks you here. So jump over, over it, kinda sideways. Into the pipe. Ignore this guy's the armor, we're gonna get it in the second level, but if you're low on health you can pick up that armor. You have to kill this guy, because he gets in the way. Pipes falling down. Kill these guys. If you want, go past him, whatever. One more guy. Now for the third annoying jump. You have to get into this pipe. You're supposed to go around through this pipe down here. Super annoying and long. Of course, there's a tricky jump you can do where you can kind of go on this ledge here and then just make it up there. 
It's super hard, super tricky, finicky, whatever. So we have an alternative. It's not great, it's kind of annoying. We're gonna be using this crit right here. Again, strafe jumping, mouse swinging for further jumps. It's gonna be a, a regular in this game, so get up on it. Just just so you're on the edge, just jump and press left just a little bit so you're on it. Now we're gonna be jumping from this ledge to the left onto this. Then keep pressing jump so we don't slide off because the collision is really bad on this. So There we go. Easy enough as long as you make it up there and don't slide off. You should be fine. And try not to over jump it then when you're pressing jump you can jump over it and it's annoying. Now for the last part there's gonna be four guys here. This one guy here when you're running down here you can try to kill him through the grates. Sometimes he dies, sometimes he doesn't. And you'll notice this is very slippery, which is very annoying sometimes. And then there's this ladder of death. We call it the ladder of death, it's because it's very annoying. You run up here, you slide, because when you stop, you still slide a little bit. So you stop and you kind of overshoot it, you go up on the ladder, and most of the times you either can't get up or you can't like sander it. And we're not centered, you can't go up. You're gonna get stuck here, it's annoying. So maybe try jumping. See, I got stuck there again. It's a very tricky ladder. Ladders in this game are horrible. We're gonna go up. There's this guy. These guys are also known as strong leg guys. Because, well, uh, you shoot him with a shotgun in the leg, so you just don't die. So, see, <laughs> two shotgun shells in his legs, and he's not dead. So uh, yeah, strong leg guy, very annoying, you have to kill them, and then the level ends. Time for cause 2. We just go through here, there's this crate, either shoot it, jump over it, whatever. There's like night vision goggles in there, you don't need them. Just up your contrast and the brightness a little bit, so you can see, because it's pretty dark here. Uh, I like to use the SMG here, I like to um, leave the shotgun shells for cause 3. And uh, you do whatever you prefer. We're gonna go through here. This guy blows up. Now that building is gonna explode. We want to go through that building. But the fire is gonna kill us. Now there's a trigger there. Which cancels out the damage of the fire. So what we're gonna do is you shoot this uh, wooden plank. So we want to go here, not around, of course. It's faster. And we're gonna just go to the edge of that building. We're just gonna go to the edge, it's gonna cancel out the trigger inside, and then we're gonna go inside, so... Blows up, just go here, and then just go around, you can go through, no damage taken. Shoot this guy. Now we're gonna jump up here, if you jump off this little wooden plank, you're gonna nicely fly up there, you're not gonna get stuck. Because otherwise you kinda get stuck sometimes here, but it works pretty well. We're gonna go through here, we'll go through here, kill these guys, just ignore these guys, I don't have to kill them. Run through these two, pick up the armor, go past these dogs, they're very annoying, you get stuck in them a lot. We're gonna go down here, you can ignore or shoot these guys. Go for this door, now you can either go on these ledges, it's kinda tricky, the collision on corners is annoying. Or we shoot the sniper in the legs, go up the stairs, jump over here, in here. It's sometimes a lot of people spawn here, sometimes not, so you may get blocked in these cor corridors a lot. Go up the ladder, you can shoot this guy or just go past him. Get this guy, there's a door here, now we can shoot this crate for a nicer line, or go around it, whatever. Now this tank is gonna blow up the fence, wait for it to blow up, now we have to jump onto that pipe. Easy enough, just make sure you hit it. Now pipes. One thing to know about pipes is they're not really round. This is 90s technology, so they're kind of like square. You have to go in the sander, otherwise you're gonna get stuck or slow down. Go up the ladder, pick up another armor if you have to. You can kill this friend list, nobody cares. Pass these guys. You can jump over this dog, because he blocks you. It's super annoying. Whoops, this guy shot his own guy. Now we're just gonna proceed up the stairs, jump straight down, these two guys are gonna come, you can just wait for them to go away or 
shoot them. Crouch jump into here. Then you can stand up, you can actually stand up here. Now outside here there's gonna be four people. Which you have to kill, so it ends the level. You have to be pretty fast about it if you want a good time, so... You can shoot this guy through the window. It's gonna shoot the window and him, so that's good. Jump out then. This guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. This four plus that one. End of level. Now it's time for cast 3. There's no insane jumps here. That's pretty good. There's like one jump. And uh, just proceed through here. Turn around here and uh, open the gate. Just make your way towards the sewers. Because it's a first person shooter. Of course it has sewers. Go up here. Just ignore this guy. Go through here. We're gonna go through this door. Now we're gonna go to the left. We have to go in there. Just ignore the guys with the limes and everything. Going here, there's gonna cutscene, there's gonna play, just skip. You can pick up nades if you want. Going here, there's shotgun shells. Main thing is we wanna press this button. And it's gonna open that door behind there. Press it. Now we're gonna go through here. These guys usually don't spawn because... Uh, they spawn if you take too long because of the spawn rate. Go up the ladder. Open this, now you just go down here. You can go through that door if you want. But uh, there's this jump, which is just neat. You can jump over those crates, just jump on the rail and then strafe jump like mouse swing over these crates. It's just clean, just optimization. To the left down here, through these corridors, just like how we would play the level normally. You have to go in here, press this so this crate moves. Ignore this guy, whatever. Shoot the grate. Through here, more shafts, more grates. Just jump over here, ignore those guys. Now this blows up. This guy comes out of this door. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna make our way up the stairs. Just, you can clean up. Maybe you would want to switch to a shotgun here. So we can clean this up a little faster. You can shoot the civilian because he loves to block you, so just take care of him. Now you can just shoot th these three guys to trigger another cutscene. And before the cutscene starts, you can start reloading and by the end of the cutscene when you skip it, it's gonna be reloaded, so that's pretty cool. Maybe shoot these guys because this deagle guy likes to block you. Move along, chopper's gonna blow up shit. Just jump down here, we don't need to deal with these guys at all. This guy's gonna open the door. Okay, sometimes he opens the door. So when you come through here, a guy opens the door. But you have to be very careful. Because this game loves to get you stuck into doors. If you're here and the door opens like that, you're gonna get stuck into the door. And there's no way to uh, get out of it. So you've pretty much ruined your run. You've ruined your level. Everything has been ruined. So... Make sure, when you come down here, you kind of trigger the door opening, but you step back a step or two, so it opens and you kill the guy so you don't get stuck. So, just a little note. This happens a lot, especially in this level, these two doors. Okay, we're back at the doors now. We're gonna see the guy's gonna open. We're gonna step back a little bit. This guy. We open this door. Shoot this guy. Now, to end this level, you have to enter this area, the hangar area. And you have to kill those four dudes in there. But I found an accidental glitch. Where you can just end level without killing those guys. So you kill them. A dialogue starts and after the dialogue the level ends. Basically you press the use key once to open this door. Now while you're standing like mid door. Almost in here. You just press use again. I don't know why but it just triggers the ending dialogue. Like that. There you go. Dialogue. Didn't kill these guys at all. The level's gonna end. It's great. Well, there we go. That was Kosovo. Now we're gonna continue on to Siberia. Which is a uh, pretty tricky in its own. Very glitchy. So uh, we'll see you in the next one.